CDD Ghana welcomes as an important first step the swift action taken by the Minister of National Security. As far as we know, this is also the first time the National Security Outfit has admitted publicly that certain of its operatives acted inappropriately in an encounter with citizens and also announced administrative or disciplinary actions against the culpable officers. However, the ministry sought to minimize the misconduct of its operatives by describing the criminal assault against the person of Mr. Kuda as merely inappropriate. This is regrettable as it does not send the right signal or deterrence to officers of the national security apparatus. The center also awaits the speedy conclusion of the National Media Commission's investigations into the complaint filed by City FM on this matter. CDD Ghana would like to implore the government and the Minister of National Security to see and seize upon this incident as an opportunity to pursue more far-reaching reforms in the national security apparatus and its operations as the problem highlighted by the Kuda City FM case is long-standing, recurring and systemic. This latest incident indeed highlights the importance of taking seriously the observations and recommendations of the ML Short Commission. Among other things, the Short Commission recommended that operatives of the National Security Council should be trained and internalize human rights rules including the provisions on the fundamental human rights of the Constitution within their standing of operating procedures. It is clear from both the incidents at the national security compound involving Mr. Kuda and on the City FM premises including the attempt to arrest Mrs. Zoe Abubedu of City FM that the admonition and recommendation of the short commission including in the area of recruitment and training have not been heeded or implemented. Not only is a total change in orientation needed and long overdue, the current architecture of national security, including the lines of accountability, authority, command and responsibility, also needs a relook. We call on Parliament to assume its rightful place as the People's Assembly and the principal government oversight body to ensure that the country has a national security system that is fit for purpose. A good place to start is to revisit the ML Short Commission report and get government to commit to credible reforms both in the way national security personnel are recruited and trained and in the way national security does business.